Okay, I'm going to try to do another one of these videos. Um, it's been a while, and uh, I've been not uh, able to find time to do it. So this is something that's, you know, it's relevant to what I'm working on, which is one of the things I'm doing right now is I'm teaching a class on machine learning. So right now we've been studying linear classifiers for the past week and a half or so. So let's talk about linear classifiers. So there's some, one interesting thing that happens where... A lot of times we learn about linear classifiers and they're binary linear classifiers. Like, like we might look at something like, um, you know, a set of a classifier that takes in some uh, vector x, right, and and you multiply it by some vector w, um, and then you take the sign of it, and that'll tell you what you predict, right? It's going to be either plus one or minus one. Oops, that's not the right symbol. Uh, let's see. Okay, um, so, but we, in a lot of settings, we care more about uh, multi-class classification. So you can have a weight vector for every single class. So you have weight vector C, um, you know, for C in, let's say, you know, one, two, all the way up to, let's call this capital C. I know it's hard to tell with my handwriting, but this is lowercase c, this is capital C. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so there's different WCs. So then what we say is that the class is going to be the argmax WC transpose X, right? So we have this linear product that's going to give us a score, and we have a different score for every class. Right, so we're going to define that as f of x. f of x. Okay. Um, so, so that's that's a setup, right? Um, and so there's a couple of linear classifiers that are interesting to think think about. And and one thing to consider is like, okay, what what about this? Is this really the same thing as that? Well, okay, let's look at the perceptron. So that's one particular algorithm that we study when we do linear classification. And with a perceptron, the trick is we take, um, you know, the, the update is that you update it so that uh, you get that W becomes W plus uh, Y times X uh, if, let's say, F of X is not equal to Y. That's the update rule for perceptron. Okay, um, so the idea there is is uh, you know I've gone over this in my lecture slides. You know, uh, this thing here will uh, will change the score for the example that you just you know guessed uh, label for if it's wrong. So and it'll change it in the right direction. You know, see see my uh, see my. Uh, lecture on that if you want to figure out and <clears throat> see the argument for that case. So anyway, the the the, the multi-class form of this is that you get w, w will get the um, uh, WC, wait, no, not WC, WY gets W plus X, WY plus X, And w f of x, which is whatever you guessed, will get w f of x minus x. So what happens here is, you know, if if your label is, uh, if okay, so think about this. If f of x is equal to y, you will, um, you know, you'll update here. Uh, let me not use this same color. So you will update um, that's not confusing notation. All right, so so if f of x equals y, then uh, then you apply this update, and then you apply this update, and what happens is nothing happens, right? You add x and you subtract x. But if f of x is not equal to y, then you you apply this to a different vector than you apply this to. So you get two different changes in your in your set of weight vectors. Right? We had a whole set of weight vectors here, uh, up here. All right. Okay, so now the question is, how are these the same thing? Are these the same thing? They're sort of the same thing, but they're not exactly. So let's try to work that out. And uh, now I don't actually know 
how we do this. So I've done this before. I don't remember the actual answer. Why these are the same thing. Um, so one for one thing, let's consider that there's two two classes, right? There's W, let's call it W positive and W negative. So we just have two classes. Um, so in rather, I, I could have in, indexed them one and two, right? That would have been more consistent with what I wrote here. Um, but rather than one and two, let's just call it plus and minus. So let's say we apply this update. So we're saying that when we get something wrong, um, it would get, okay, so now we're going to consider that y is you will either, you know, y is going to come from the set of plus or minus, it's similar to plus one or minus one, and then if w plus, um, well, certainly it's going to be w plus, but then it's going to be, uh, let's say, let's say y is going to be plus one minus one just for the sake of um, plus one minus one. And maybe I'll just write W plus and W minus um, for uh, cleanliness, right? But really, we could write those as W plus one or W minus one, because those are, those are two different classes we might consider. So then this is going to, how do we update W plus? Well, so that depends on whether what kind of mistake we made. So if we made the mistake that W plus is equal to, uh, sorry, that, that, that uh, W plus transpose X Let's say we made the mistake that that is larger than w minus transpose x, right? That would mean we guess we would guess that it's the positive class case when let's say the true y is equal to minus one. So this is a case where it should have been negative. We guessed positive. So how would we update that? So then we would what we would do is we subtract x there, and then here we would uh, add x. Right? That's what would happen. So what what's happening here is um, this update corresponds to, let's see, uh, we, I said that we guess positive. Yeah, this corresponds to that, and this corresponds to that. All right, so we, this, this was the class that we guessed, and so we want to subtract. Um, and this was the true class that it should have been, which is that it should have been negative. Right, so we do it like that. So uh, that's one possible case. In fact, so we could write this as W, oops, let's go back to blue, W, um, okay, let's W plus, it gets uh, W plus, plus Y, X, okay, that's that's correct. So the Y was minus 1, so we can do plus YX. And W minus gets assigned to W minus plus, oh, now it's minus YX, so that's interesting. Minus YX. So that was the case where we were wrong in this direction. So let's see if that works. So this, this is like, you know, one update, right? If, let's say this is, uh, we're going to move this over so I can... Make some room. So let's see. This is this is if f of x equals plus one and y equals minus one. Okay. Let's go the other way. So now, to, right here's the question. Right. If the other direction f of x equals minus one and y equals plus one, what do we do? So that's the scenario where we guessed. Uh, here we guessed. Uh, what am I saying? I'm saying we guessed minus one, and we, it, oh, I said the backwards. The true label was plus one. Do we guessed minus one? Minus one. So there we would get that w plus, which is what we what we wanted, will be added. So it will be plus x and w minus gets w minus, and this time it's going to be minus x, so let's write, well, let's write minus x for now, and now we can see that that's equivalent to minus, because x is, uh, y is positive, it's equivalent to yx and yx. So suddenly we, look some, we get something that looks very similar to the, uh, the single or binary class perceptron. Right? This, is the, this is the binary class perceptron, 
And this is what we got here for the multi-class form when there's two classes. So they're really similar. So why are they different? Well, so, or how do we make them equivalent, rather? Okay, so uh, the update rule is the same regardless of which direction it's wrong. So let's rewrite this to be a single update rule. So this is, let me write the binary class one, and that's just this uh, w gets w plus y x if f of x not equal to y. And then multi, I'll just write multi for multi class. It's similar, w plus, it's w plus plus y x. Um, let me make that a little bit more precise. Okay. Um, and w minus gets w minus minus y x if f of f of x is not equal to y. Okay, uh, so let's focus on this part, right? This is the two formulas that we have, or the two versions of this model that we have. What, so how do we make them the same? Well, one thing to consider is that when we, when we uh, make predict predictions with this multi-class form, you know, what we're doing is we're comparing the score for the positive, or doesn't really matter which we highlight, the positive versus the negative, or we're comparing them. So that's equivalent to, uh, right, so here's the question, right? So, so when we say, you know, W plus transpose X, we're asking, you know, we're asking, is it greater than or less than W minus transpose X? So, okay, the one thing we can do, and this, this totally works, and this ends up being the, one of the ways to reason out this answer, is we can just m modify this inequality. We don't know which direction the inequality is, but we can modify it. So uh, one way we can do is subtract, do that is subtract this from both sides. So we subtract W minus transpose X. So this whole thing becomes zero. And then we also subtract w minus transpose x, and that's a little messy, that's a little messy, so I'm just going to go like this, and you know what, I can, yeah, okay, so then w plus transpose x, and then now we have the same, you know, I'll write question mark as the operator zero, right, so this is the question, right, so Okay, so this can be simplified in you know further, right? So we can say now we can just write w plus minus w minus transpose x question mark zero. Well, so what is that? That's actually that actually means that the prediction is going to be sine of w plus minus w minus transpose x. Oops, I shouldn't have oh, okay, let me put another parentheses in here. It should be like that. Okay, so so this is this is our prediction prediction. And if you look back to what I wrote originally, all the way up here, that is very similar in shape. Let me put them on on the same place. Let me make a copy of this. So I'll just copy this messy thing I wrote. Copy, and I'll paste it there. And here's it. Okay, I copied some extra stuff, but let's just get rid of that. Okay, so this thing looks. These two look very similar, right? This thing right here. And this thing right there, very similar. So the key is that this W, this W here that we used that we used in the binary class form is equivalent to this thing here. So we can just say that W, let's call this binary, is equivalent to W plus minus W minus. So, okay, that's how you do a conversion between a multi-class, uh, a two-class multi-class, right? a two-class multi-class perceptron with a binary class perceptron, which, is, which just has only a single weight matrix. So that's pretty natural. Um, but now the question is this. So, so here's, here's the question. 
and maybe I'll, I don't think I'll, I want to do this in this video, but I'll do it in the next video. Or me, okay, it, let's let's say I'll try to do it in the next video. But the next question is: There's a famous, you know, classifier which is the logistic regression. Uh, why am I spelling? There's, I'm trying to write the initials logistic regression. I wrote L L, but well, you, you might know why I did that, but that's obviously a mistake. Um, so logistic regression, which looks like this, right? One over so if we get this right, 1 plus x of minus w transpose x, like that. So that's the binary class, binary class, the binary class form. The multi-class looks like this. Um, WC c equals 1 to, mm, this is messy, I'm out of space here, um, let me make a little room, okay, so this is going to be capital C, so for, it's going to sum over all the different classes of W, let me give, let me call this a different thing, WC prime transpose X. Okay, so you get this whole thing, um, is the multi-class form. So there's two things. Uh, there's, let's, let me just show you, let me just highlight them. So this is binary class, and just for a different color, this is multi-class. Okay, so how do we make these equivalent? So the question is, can we do the same thing? And in the case, this is where I'm going to stop the video, because I don't think you can do the same thing, and I think it's, it's a different interpretation. Right? How, the way you convert between uh, this one here and this one here is not the same as the way we convert between the multi-class perceptron and the, um, or in the binary class perceptron and the multi-class perceptron. So it's going to be a little different, but, you know, maybe it's an interesting exercise, which I would like to get to hopefully in the next video. And, and this, this is actually what prompted me to make this video because one of my students in my class asked about why, you know, here's an interesting thing. Why is this negative? Like, why do we have this why do we have this negative thing here in this in this exponent when over here it's positive? So you know, think about that. Maybe you maybe you'll figure it out. Um, but it's it's interesting to be able to switch between these different settings.